Hello everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone is doing well. This is a topic I've been wanting to talk about because I know that there's a lot of different options to choose from when you're looking at secured credit cards, okay? If you haven't already, I have a video um, that is talking about uh, secured cards versus unsecured, okay? So you can check that out. I'll have the link above. Uh, actually, I think the link is going to be on this side. So, uh, But either way, I have a video on that and that will go over the differences between an unsecured credit card and a secured credit card. Okay, So I know that there's a lot of options to choose from and of course this is just my list and uh, the companies they're not uh, paying me directly to talk about you know these particular you know um, uh, credit cards uh, but at the same time uh, I just think that people should know that there's so many to choose from this is just what I think uh, are probably the best the, the top three options you should probably at least take a look at okay and whether you want to apply for it is most definitely up to you all right so number one the number one first card is going to be the capital one so this is this is a comparison okay so number Number one will be the Capital One Secure Credit Card. Uh, the reason being is because, of course, Capital One's a household name. Um, not only that, they have what they call, a, what I like to call, um, a credit tier system. Okay, and it's really simple. How it works is, um, let's say, for example, you, you know you think you don't have the best credit, right? And you, and of course, you've been denied with unsecured credit cards. So of course, that's why you're looking at you no know, secure credit cards. So Capital One says, okay. You don't have the best credit, but we have a three tier system, technically a four tier system. OK, and tier one will be the best tier. Now, these are just I made this up on my own. But the reason why I broke it down like this, because it's easier to explain. OK, so tier one means that, of course, your credit is not the best, but it's not the absolute worst, meaning that you only have to um, do a deposit of forty nine dollars. OK. And that $49 deposit is going to get you a credit limit of $200. Okay, so that's tier one. Tier two is going to be uh, a, a deposit of $99. Okay, and you get a credit limit of $200. All right. Then, of course, tier three, you have to have the entire deposit full of two hundred dollars and you're going to have a credit limit of two hundred dollars. OK, then, of course, the made up one that I just came up with is tier four. And that's where Capital One says, listen, your credit is not <laughs> your credit is absolutely not the best. And we can't not, we can't help you at this moment in time. And that's OK. It's not a big deal because I have um, I have other recommendations that may work for you as well. OK, what I like about Capital One. Not just the fact that it's a household name, but number one, it's a relationship bank. That's what I like to call it. Meaning that you start off with a capital uh, with a Capital One credit card, but then later down the line, you may you know be looking for an auto loan. And of course, they do auto loans. Um, you may already have a car, but because you built history with them with your secure credit card or whatever, um, you know they can re help you refinance that loan too. So that's pretty cool. And uh, they also, uh, I believe they do. I know they do mortgage refinancing. I'm not sure if they do mortgages, uh, but I know either way they do a. a an entire a lot. The problem is that a lot of people, they don't think that Capital One is that big because it's not what I like to call, I'm in Illinois, so there's not like branches up here. But from what I know, uh, well, from what I heard and looked on their website, um, there are branches down in Texas and other places as well. Downtown Chicago, they have the Capital One 360. Uh, so it's like a checking account or something like that. The reason why I'm bringing all this up is because a lot of people, they'll see the commercials, but they'll say, oh, well, they can't be that big because I don't drive by them. OK, but um, that I think that that gives uh, Capital One uh, the opportunity to expose more risk because they don't have all these branches to pay, all these employees to pay all this overhead, uh, you know, rent fees and leases and, you know, management and all the rest of this stuff. Right. You know, so but it's I think that majority of the business, you know, is probably online, you know, which is nothing wrong with, you know, so if the money's there, who cares? Right. And as long as somebody answers the phone and uh, you can understand what they're saying, everything works out fine. Right. Exactly. So uh, but that's number one, of course, the Capital One Secure credit card. Also, another thing about them is that you can add um, you can add up to five authorized users at no additional charge. A lot of places will charge you, um, you know, to have an authorized user. OK. And if you guys are not sure, you know, the benefits of being an authorized user, you know, just check it out on my blog at the 850club.com slash blog. OK. I'll put the link down in the description below as well, too. OK. So that's number one. Number two, the number two card that I recommend is going to be the Open Sky Secure Credit Card. 
okay now what I like about open sky is real simple um, if of course you get denied you know from Capital One or anyone else I think it's a great fallback because all you have to have there's no credit check okay with the Capital One there is a credit check yes it will be a hard inquiry okay but on this case um, it's gonna be a, there's no credit check so there's no hard inquiry there's no soft inquiry as long as you have a checking account okay you can get this credit card it's just that simple and uh, it's instant. So, for example, you go, you know, of course, um, you know, you apply for the card and uh, you make the deposit. Guess what? It's yours. Okay. Now, I know that there's so many different types of credit cards that you know uh, that companies offer. So, to make it easier, I'm just gonna put the links down in the description or whatever. It's, it's up to you. Uh, you can do, or you can Google it. Whatever you feel most comfortable with. Uh, but I know there's so many different types of cards. You know, just want to make sure that you apply for the right one and the one that I guess I'm talking about. Okay. So, I'm not talking about. I don't necessarily want to talk about companies in particular but these are just I would just say like a top at least where you should start at least take a look at them you don't necessarily have to apply and but I say at least take a look at them if you're gonna start your secured credit card journey okay so back to open sky now keep in mind you're gonna hear the word deposit a lot uh, deposit is not the same as down payment down payment is of course you know you put the money down you give it to the company and of course you never get it back the great thing about these deposits is that you can actually uh, give the you no. Know, once you make the deposit, you get the deposit back once you close the account. Then some people say, "Well, I thought that if you close accounts, it hurts your score. It doesn't hurt your score right away. We're talking later down the line. Uh, not only that, 15% of your credit score comes from average." time that you've actually had credit okay so for example if you have let's say an account that you had for three years and you have another account that you've had for one year so now you just take three plus one that's gonna be four divided by two so now that brought your average down to two years okay so there again a good average is usually seven years or more for people that have you know 800 scores and above I say about seven eighties and above they have an average of eight to eleven years okay for all of their accounts now every account may not be like that but that's the average Average, if you get what I'm saying okay so I say that to say it's okay to close a card keep in mind I think a lot of people forget uh, why they get the secure card in the first place to build credit right so if you get the secure card and you build credit it's okay to close the account now you got now you it the the secure credit card did exactly what it was supposed to do okay so now you just move on to something else okay so of course my clients I walk them through that process you know so again Everyone's situation is different, so I have to be careful on when I do videos like this because like it's it's tough for me to say what your situation may be. So this is more of a safe kind of broad type of spectrum, and that's why I say at least kind of start off with these you know these three credit cards if you want to. Okay, the third type of credit card is going to be um, the uh, it's it's called the Green Dot platinum credit card okay the green what I like about this particular card and you probably like what green dot yeah they do a little bit more than just having uh, it's crazy someone's walking a dog so um, but, uh, they do a little bit more than just prepaid right this is a card I, I think just came out okay the reason why I think it's awesome is because there's no credit check number one okay and then number two you don't have to have a checking account or a savings account so the reason why this is the last option number one because some people are in, a, in a, a situation where their credit's not the best and they don't have a checking account or for whatever reason. They could be in check systems or whatever and things may be tough for them right now. No big deal. They have it. You know, so, and that's the Green Dot Platinum credit card, you know, secure credit card that is. And all you have to do, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if they'll take the money uh, through their website or whatever, but you most definitely can apply. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure they probably would. But either way, um, it's a, it, the minimum is a $200 deposit, the same as Open Sky. Okay, I forgot to say that with Open Sky, it's a $200 deposit. And the same thing, of course, with the Green Dot Platinum Secure Credit Card. It's only $200 that you have to use as a uh, deposit. Okay, and I'm assuming the process is the same. You know, if you, you know you build your credit, you know, I. I mean, it's up to you, but for my clients, everyone's situation is different. So sometimes I have my clients, you know, close out the account in a year. Sometimes I have, have them close out in six months. So it's, but it's most definitely up to you. But again, everyone's situation is different. So, um, you know, but this is a great place to start. So of course, number one is Capital One, and they have that tier system where you probably can save a tremendous amount of money. I know a lot of people, They'll start off their secure credit card journey in like their local bank, which is cool, uh, you know. But I wrote an article on that on my blog, um, and that is what I call 680 and above banks. Which, if your score is not a 680 and above, they're probably not going to prove you for anything, right? So usually they have a secure credit card, but usually their minimum is $300. That same person could have gotten 
they don't know. They don't even know if they could have gotten an unsecured elsewhere, right? And because there are companies that would give you an unsecured credit card without a deposit required, but as some people say, it comes with a bill, right? It comes with the annual fee as the first bill or whatever. That, listen, the bank is going to make their money some type of way, right? You know, so, but I say that, of course, the best way to probably start is, uh, you, I don't, I mean, it's up to you if you want to start with your local bank, but they're probably going to need a, uh, a deposit of either 200 or 300. If you, if you at least want to try to see if you can save some money, I would say probably start with like Capital One or either one of these other companies I started with where, you know, they have the tier system where it could be a $49 for tier one, $99 for tier two, or of course a $200 deposit for tier three. Okay. Then of course the second one being the open sky credit card is a, a checking account needed. Uh, there is no credit checks. Number three is going to be the green dot platinum secured credit card where there is no credit check. You can pre-qualify on their website and there is no checking account or savings account needed. So I think that's pretty awesome. So hopefully that kind of helps you guys out. I know a lot of times people say, well, I'm just gonna go through my credit union. I'm gonna go through my bank. That's fine. You know, but just because, just because you have an account for them, don't all, that doesn't always mean that they're going to approve you. Okay. A lot of times it's more than just relationships. Sometimes they have a, a threshold and if they keep letting people come in at that threshold, then they're going to increase their risk versus Capital One and all the rest of these banks, they can increase their risk. They don't have all this overhead to pay in these branches and um, you know, salaries and all that type of stuff. At least that's what I see from the outside looking in. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, of course, you can always subscribe to uh, the video. And uh, if you want to you know, see more videos, subscribe to the channel, I'm sorry. And you'll see more videos. If you like it, like it. If you need us to help somebody, you know, share it as well too. And if you also want to join my email list, I'll put the link down below as well. And that way you guys can keep up with all my, my blog posts.